Stampers, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining me today for my Wait What Wednesday video. I've got a cool technique to share with you called wood planking. It's super easy. I think you're going to love it. See how these rectangles of paper look just like wood planks. Let's get started and I'll give you all the details about this. So the first thing I've got here is I've got just a regular card base and it doesn't matter whether it's four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half or whether it opens this way at five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. But either way, um, I just happen to have this in my drawer so I'm going to use this as a card that opens like this. Then I've got a piece of early espresso cardstock, and this is really nice to put behind our wood planking technique because it's kind of the same color that we're going to put on the edges. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I'm using our wood textures designer series paper. This piece is three and three quarters by five and an eighth. And the wood textures is coming to us from this paper stack. This is a six by six paper stack, it's $10. You can find this on page 187 in the big catalog. And it has so many cool wood grains in it. Aren't these fun? These are great for masculine cards or as you can see, I'm making Christmas cards with them. Gives it kind of that old country charm feeling. Now for this technique, what I wanted to use out of here was the pattern paper that doesn't have any wood lines in it like this one for example. This one has planking lines in it but this one doesn't. It's just the wood grain. Both of these would work great for it too. There's a whole bunch. I love this white. I've used a lot of that. There's a whole bunch of different designs in this paper stack and this is just a great paper stack to have on hand. Um, I've seen baby cards made out of it. It's adorable. Okay, let's get started. I'll show you how to do this. So the first thing I've got here is the watercolor Christmas stamp set. I really like the font on these words. And then you have three little Christmas tree images that are really cute too. So we've got um, greetings for the outside of our cards and also a nice greeting for the inside. Or you can put this on the outside too. I am going to use the Season of Cheer. And I've already stamped this over to the right in the middle of my wood textures piece with early espresso ink. Next, you're gonna bring in your paper trimmer and we're gonna cut this into planks and it doesn't matter. There's no measurement, you just cut. Stamp first and then you're just going to cut three pieces off of here and they can be as big or as small as you want them to be. I'm just gonna make sure that my um, greeting stays right there in the middle. Okay, once you have that done, we're gonna come in with our scissors and we are going to just rough up the edge of each one of these pieces. Uh, and I have to give a big shout out to my downline, Ann Hubner, because she shared this idea and I thought, oh my gosh, I love this. I have to show everybody this. So then it became my Wednesday video and that's how those things happen. This isn't usually planned too far in advance. <laughs> and I could say just because I like to be spur of the moment, but that's not really true. I'm just kind of a last minute person and I, I tend to fly by the seat of my pants a lot and it works well for me. I guess you know how people work better under pressure? Well, I'm one of those people. It seems like if I have a lackadaisical week, I don't get much done. But if I have a week crammed with classes and all kinds of things going on, I can get twice as much done as I can in the week where I don't have anything. And that just seems, you know, it's kind of insane, really. And well, you know, we're, we all, I think we're all just a little bit insane. I know I am. I won't speak for you, but I know I have that little crazy side where it's like, why do I? And then you sit back and you go, why do I do this to myself? Well, <laughs> it's just the way it works out. Okay, now if you would like, you can do the ends. You don't have to do the ends here because your boards can appear to be, um, you know, 
fresh cut or whatever, so they're a little smoother. But I did do the ends. I didn't do the ends on this one. Here we go. And again, we're just roughing them up just a little bit. Now I'm going to bring in my early espresso ink. And we're going to do a little bit of sponging. We don't sponge too much anymore on things. Remember when it used to be all the rage? We sponged every single edge of everything. Yeah, now when I see stuff that's sponged, it's like, mm, I don't know. It just isn't as appealing as it was when we first started doing it. Everything goes through its little trends. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up a little bit and get all these edges done. What the sponging does here, and by the way, you could use a dauber instead of a sponge too if you don't have any sponges, but what the sponging does is it covers up the white edge of the card or the edge of the paper here. You can see from where I roughed it up. The core in the inside of this designer series paper is white, so we're covering that up and then we're giving it that dark shadow around the outside that'll make it look like a plank. Get this little mess cleaned up here. And then I'm going to bring in my early espresso layer. And again, this was four by five and a quarter. You can use your snail adhesive or glue. I just like glue. I'm going to glue on this top piece and I've got just a very slim sixteenth of an inch margin on the top and on both sides. Now I'm going to come in and put this bottom piece in because I want my pieces to be evenly spaced. So we'll save that middle one for the last. There we go. This side is pretty too. This is just a little bit, it has a little bit more brown in it. Make sure we get that on right side up. And that spaces them just perfect. Isn't that neat looking? I just love it. Okay, and then here's our card front. And I'm just going to put this on here. Whoops, I almost dropped it. Whew. Next, I took one of our foil snowflakes. You get 12 of each color, silver and 12 gold, and then the back, you can sponge color on it. If you want to make it a whole different color, just sponge some color on it. I'm going to mount this with dimensionals. Make sure you're sticking your fingernail into the middle of those to make them pop up a little bit. I'm just going to put this right here. And everything else is pretty simple. So let me show you. Here comes the finished card. I took my stitched shapes framelits. Love these, you guys. If you don't have them, please get them. You will never regret having these. You can pop right on um, my blog and place any orders for any supplies that I'm showing you. So I took this and I did a cherry cobbler oval. And then I took the adorable seasonal chums bundle and did the snowman. Now I only needed the front of the snowman. I colored the snowman in with the hat was a black stamp and write marker. And then I used dark cherry cobbler, um, light crumb cake for the bunny, old olive, pumpkin pie for the nose. And then I've got my color lifter here just in case you make a mistake. This will actually like erase it, so it's pretty cool. These are our new stamp and blend markers. And although I didn't do any blending on here, I just like coloring with them. They're fabulous. They've got two different tips on them. So you have a thin tip for those little parts, and then you have a big tip for your coloring and blending. These are fantastic. You'll find this brochure on my blog, right here's the address, and it gives some great tips. 
there'll be a link to it. You can find there's a card kit on there that's just gorgeous and a fun stamp set. And then it gives all the information. You can order these markers in a combo pack with the light and dark of Old Olive, or you can order one or the other. So that's pretty cool. You can order the whole set with an ivory bronze and the color lifter for $121.50. These are really, really good priced alcohol markers, and they're very, very high quality. All right, so I also added the clear faceted gems here, and I just put one of each size on my card, and aren't those pretty? It almost looks like little snowballs in there. The inside of my card I stamped with cherry cobbler and then an old olive little Christmas tree to dress it up a little bit. But aren't these fun? You've got two different patterns of the paper or colors and both of them look really neat. I'll finish this card up in just a few minutes. So again, here we have seasonal chums, seasonal tags, framelits. These are so fun. Our clear faceted gems, stitched shapes, and then this set was watercolor Christmas along with our wood textures designer series paper stack. This is the instruction card. So I have a VIP online club. And what that entails is each month when you place a minimum $25 order online with me, and let me know, you have to like email me and say, Kelly, I wanna be in your online club. I will send you this instruction sheet. So it has the instructions on here and a sample of what our technique of the month is. And also, I will send you the card that we made that uses that technique. And at the end of six months, you get to choose $30 in free product of your choice from me. So this is a really cool way to participate in one of my stamp clubs. Whether you're local or whether you're long distance, you have to be in the U.S. and you get a big bonus at the end. And that's my thank you for your continued support. I really do appreciate all your orders. How did you guys love the free shipping on Monday? <gasps> it was fantastic. I know I, I put in an order for a few things that I needed that I would have put off because, you know, the minimum shipping is $6.95, but free shipping, holy cow. That was really fun. Anyways, if you would like to get more information about my VIP online club, Head on over to my blog, astampabove.com. I'll have a link on there to all the details about this club. Make sure you click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss anything coming up. I'll also have a link to the Stampin' Blends brochure so you can check these out. These are a fabulous new product. And if you'd like to pop me an email, my email address is kelly at astampabove.com. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Let me know if you need our newest catalogs. Everybody who places an order with me in the last six months will get the upcoming catalog that comes out in January called our Occasions Catalog. And I have it. I've seen it. I can actually show you the front cover of it. Don't these look delicious? If you'd like to get your hands on this, all you have to do is place an order in my online store and you will automatically be added to my free catalog list. So check it out. All details for this and ordering links will be on my blog on November 29th. All right, you guys, thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch this video. I hope you have fun with this wood planking technique. I know that I did. Easy, quick, and spectacular. Bye-bye.